White supremacy. Let's talk about it. Now, maybe I should have waited to uh, shave my head before having this conversation, but I kind of like the contrast. You know, white guy, shaved head, denouncing white supremacy. It's good to break stereotypes. Anyways, over this past weekend, there was the horrific murder of three black people in Jacksonville, Florida, at the hands of a self-described white supremacist who released his little manifesto outlining all of his beliefs and it's all the same old fucking racist bullshit. Nothing new, nothing original. And yet, strange thing, I see a lot of conservative pundits and talking heads and randos on social media claiming that this had nothing to do with race, had nothing to do with white supremacy. In fact, white supremacists don't even really exist. It's not racist just because it was a white guy who killed black people. It's just murder. And normally, that could be true, except in this case, the shooter made it very clear what this was all about, and it's white supremacy. Very simple. But the thing is, denying that white supremacy exists is one of the main tools to maintain white supremacy. See, the greatest trick the white devil ever pulled was convincing the world it doesn't exist. There are certainly some people and institutions who called it what it is, and that's a good start. It just feels like there are too many people and too many institutions invested in this idea of America as post-racial. We've dealt with all those problems that we had in the past, and in fact, those problems in the past weren't even that big a deal. That's exactly why Governor Putting Fingers DeSantis and other Republicans all across the country are trying to control the way we teach history, in particular black history. See, they don't want people having any context or understanding of how we got here. They don't want people making a connection between this guy's actions and America's history. They don't want people thinking of structural, systemic, historic problems that affect us today. They want everyone thinking this is an individual problem. These mass shootings, they're lone gunmen. They're not connected to any broader campaign. It's not a decentralized right-wing terror campaign. No, just because most of these mass shooters are white males who have the same exact outlook on life. It's certainly not America's fault. It's just the only country that this happens over and over and over again. Probably coincidence.